and welcome back to the channel. Not a bad day this morning here, or this afternoon I should say. Uh, we're sitting at 47 degrees, so not too bad at all. Not much of a wind. And on this video, I'm going to talk about what addition would you make to this bike if you've been watching the videos on the bike after seeing it which additions would you make if any and for myself it's kind of hard to uh, to say I suppose despite me saying how good the bike is without a suspension I suppose if I had to pick one thing maybe I would pick the suspension something that's not already on the bike I'm speaking about so maybe I would pick uh, the suspension for the fact that it doesn't have one already and I don't know what else I'm trying to think what else I would pick offhand to add to the bike um, that's not already on the bike now um, I didn't know much about regen braking until I got the bike and now that I have it I really like it and I wouldn't want to be without it um, so that's already there so I think full suspension and the question then would become how much would you be willing to spend on a full suspension like would you spend $500 and I'm just going to use $500 as an example because that's how much Ride One Up was charging for their full suspension. $500 more to get the full suspension. And I think you got a little bit uh, larger battery as well for your $500. So. So not only were you getting the full suspension, but you were also getting um, a little bit larger battery as well. So let's say $400. Would you pay $400 more to get the rear suspension? I don't know if I would or not. Maybe I would. I don't know though. Because uh, this bike rides so well to me without the rear suspension that. But then again, if you got the full suspension, how much better would that feel? If the bike feels that good now, maybe it would feel even, you know, that much better? I don't know. And uh, that would be. Uh, That would be an interesting one. Uh, here's another way of looking at it. Would you trade one of the batteries, if you have the dual battery like I do, would you trade one of the batteries in uh, for a full suspension? Because the extra battery was $500. So let's say the $500 swap would be for the full suspension. I think I would personally rather have the two battery setup.
Uh, but that's just my take on the suspension, adding a suspension. What would you pick? I mean, I don't know that's not already on the bike. And if you've got a, an idea for something you'd pick to add to this bike that's not already on it, let me know in the comments below. And uh, we'll see what other others out there are thinking that they would want to add. Look, we're going up a hill, a little bit of a hill from almost a stop. Like I say, if I didn't already have it, because I didn't know much about it, uh, and I didn't, it wasn't on the bike already, and I know what I know now about regen braking, I would add that. I'm a big fan of the regen braking. We're getting closer and closer to springtime. And we should start seeing before long more bike bikes out on the road. Especially in areas where you're still under snow, I, I'm sure you're looking forward to getting out on your bikes if you've been hi hibernating all winter and haven't had a chance to get out on your bike, I kind of feel for you. Another thing, it's not really necessary, but I kind of like it. Uh, on the bike, it would be good if I had, I'm going to go down to the next street, is uh, cruise control. I kind of like the cruise control, especially in the summer when I'm going on a further ride. When we get into the nicer weather, I plan on doing further rides than I've been doing here now. Kind of kind of wait for the nice weather to get out there and do a range test on the bike and, and, and uh, some different rides around. I think I need to get a mirror on this bike so I can see behind me if there's somebody behind me right now. Can't tell. Big speed bumps. Yeah, so leave your comment in the comments 
below and let me know what you would like to add to this bike if it were your bike or maybe you have one the graffiti and you're about to make a new addition to the bike I mean mirrors of course would be for sure or um, I'm gonna get a foam mount on here but I'm not in too much of a rush for the foam mount because I'm not going to be putting my phone up there until I do the spring and summer rides. I might even try to uh, might even try to shoot a video off of my phone again. I've done one before, but. just the one video I've done so I'd like to try another one the phone I have is the Sam Samsung S22 Ultra it's got a pretty good camera on it so uh, I'd like to try that again One thing I've not done on my channel is I have not done any video shorts. I don't, I'm not sure how interested anybody would be on those, but that could be something I could do as well. Like I say, I haven't even done one of those. A little bit cool when you ride fast you can feel it even though the temperature is 47 at least according to my phone it says 47 It's just nice to get out here on the Lyric Graffiti. I still can't wait for the little bit nicer weather though. Not too, too warm, just a little bit warmer. 60 degrees is going to be really nice. A 60 degree ride. 60 to 65 is probably pretty nice for a bike ride. Low. Well, that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. Talking a little bit about what addition I would make to the bike. Like I say, I think for me it would probably be, because I like most everything on the bike, I suppose the suspension, but it's about the only thing I can really think of. So if you've got any comments, please leave them in the comments below. Do my best to get to uh, your comments and everyone else's comments. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscription button. And also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, 
just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and if you'd like to purchase a lyric graffiti I do have a link in the description below if you go to that link and then put in the discount code Oregon e-biker mark that's all one word and you'll save yourself a hundred dollars on the bike so once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time take care